Of the 16 Super League clubs, only 13 attend the crisis meeting at Hotel Africana, where Simba Police and Bright Stars missed. However, after close meeting, the media were briefed with the resolutions, including no Azam, no Super League. Clubs intend to put a halt on the league if Azam TV is denied the right to live tomorrow's Super League matches. Tomo Mongole, one of the club representatives, intimated to the media that Super League have already petitioned the Minister of Sports and Education, Jess Kalupo, to solve the pending squambles in the Uganda Top Fight League. If Azam does not broadcast the matches, because that's the contracts that we have, that's the social contract, inherently we have to, it's implied on us to do our contractual obligation. These people, most of the clubs received funds from Azam uh, in form of sponsorship, and uh, definitely we will have to go ahead to play with Azam. I think, yes, we, that's the right way, because one, uh, we agreed and uh, so went into contract with uh, with. Uh, Azam. So I don't think it is wise to leave or to run out of this contract when we, we are still um, in, in business with them. In order to sort out the media rights, Super League clubs are petitioned to the International Broadcasting Rights Commission based in Switzerland. For the clubs which are still dealing with Uganda Super League, they have been urged to denounce the company and join the mainstream where the 16 clubs are urged, known to double stand but opt for only Azam TV. On Tuesday, Azam TV was stopped by security personnel from telecasting Villa vs. Sadolin March, though they had already set up all the equipment. Earlier, court had directed that the laying of the Super League matches can only be effected after third March court ruling. Frank Sirugo, WSTV, Kampala.